And now let's talk about the orbital uh, complex. So they have different walls. The superior part of it is made by the uh, frontal bone. So this is the frontal bone. And this is the supraorbital um, margin, this area, and this is the supraorbital uh, notch. The posterior part is made by the uh, sphenoid, the sphenoid that contains a lot of structure. So one is the optic canal that the optic nerve pass through that. This is the superior orbital fissure, and this is the inferior orbital fissure. Okay, you also um, uh, have uh, the lateral wall. So the lateral wall is made by the zygomatic uh, bone, and the inferior wall that is made by the maxilla. Okay. Uh, you can also see uh, infraorbital foramen here and also infraorbital groove here, part of the maxilla. Uh, medially, you can see the ethmoid bone that is located uh, more posteriorly and the lacrimal bone uh, with the lacrimal sulcus and nasal lacrimal canal. This is, these two are part of the lacrimal bone that is located anterior to ethmoid. And finally, here is the uh, maxilla that is located anterior to both of these. A small, very small part of the orbital cavity is the palatine bone. And you can uh, go and compare these uh, structures uh, in this one. That is an actual uh, bone. This is just a, uh, you know, it's a colored images of that bone. So it's not the real uh, life, you do not have colorful skull. Um, so this one that uh, I mentioned it before, so I'll come back to this. This is the uh, part of the nasal cavity. So this is the midline or the mid sagittal part of it. So that makes the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. So one here, and this is the vomer which makes the um, inferior part of the bony uh, nasal septum. You can see the hard palate here made by the maxilla and palatine bone and this is the upper part or the roof of the nasal cavity made by the uh, frontal bone, uh, ethmoid and sphenoid bones. Okay, so this is in the mid sagittal area. Um, uh, let me explain this first and then I come back to this, okay? So this is the lateral wall of the a nasal cavity, the lateral one. The previous one was a mid sagittal, a midline. This is more lateral. Uh, so you can see here the lateral wall is made by the ethmoid bone. So this is the superior nasal canker. This is the inferior nasal canker. Both of them are part of the ethmoid bone, but here this one is inferior nasal canker, which is a separate bone. So there is these three nasal canker on each side. So there is overall six nasal concave, three on each side. Uh, you can also see this uh, bone, this is a maxilla, the background. Maxilla makes the lateral wall and also the part of the heart palate. You have the nasal bone that makes the anterior and a little bit lateral part of the nasal cavity. This one that is not labeled, this is the lacrimal bone. If you want to write it, this is the lacrimal bone. And here is the lateral wall also made by the palatine bone. This is the palatine bone. So as you can see, the palatine bone makes the lateral wall and also part of the uh, heart palate, which is the floor of the nasal cavity. And the sphenoid bone is making the, uh, the roof of the posterior part of the nasal cavity. So come back to this image. Uh, these, uh, this image actually shows the four uh, uh, nasal sin paranasal sinuses, okay? So one is the uh, frontal sinus, this is the frontal bone, uh, this is the ethmoid sinus, so ethmoid sinus around here, the, the frontal sinus is this area, and the sphenoid sinus is uh, this one, and finally the maxillary sinus uh, that is around this area, be, you know, inside the bone, you cannot see it properly here. Uh, so the reason for the sinus is that it contains air, so that air will reduce the weight of the skull, so that will reduce the pressure on the neck also is important for phonation. So 
if these are nasal cavity uh, if these cavities are filled uh, uh, the sound actually changes a little bit 